Hey guys, Tim here. Just thought I'd do a kind of Friday wrap up for the week with progress on the water cooled system I've been working on. So, still going to use the uh, Arc Mini R2. Uh, it's just a really slick case, and I really like the, the water cooling features it has. And I really like the fact that that top um, 360 rad actually is offset. Really nice feature. And as you can see, the thick rad with the fans in the front, I am going to switch out the fans to go with a pressure optimized fan. So this is the Corsair fan with the white ring. And that's just because I would use Noctua's, but I'm really trying to keep a blue, white, and black theme in this build. So that kind of brings us to one of the components is Hydra X PM2. This is a Swift Tech coolant. It has a corrosion inhibitor and algicide maximum heat transfer which eh, you know whatever and it does not have antifreeze so don't leave your computer out in the cold it is non-toxic but don't let your children drink it so this is you know some people use distilled water but this is basically distilled water with an additive in it to help with anti-corrosion so along with that i have a piece of silver and you just put this in your loop and it helps with um, algae. So silver is a natural, um, wow, I, the word is totally eluding me, uh, antimicrobial, I believe is the word I'm looking for, but it helps with algae and gunk in the loop. Then finally, the only quote unquote unboxing of this review or update, I guess. Wow, the tape's really strong. So, there's some holes and stuff on this where I really wanted a gasket. So you can see, you know, there's not much to the gasket, right? It's just enough to gap, you know, the holes where you need to. And I'm actually going to use uh, some of this leftover foam to kind of shroud the front a little bit. Um, just to see if I can plug up a few of the holes and in places that won't be visible. So it'll be nice cause I can cut out, you know, whatever size I need. You know, they're, they're about the same size as the fan. So you, know, you can two, two part a piece together. So that's the 240. And then there's also a 360 for the top. And you know, this isn't strictly necessary guys, but if I'm going to go through all the effort of building, uh, the loop, one thing this will help do is quiet the system quite a bit, actually, because um, it's nice, dense foam. And the other thing it'll do is just help with airflow, right? The better, the better seal you have, the less air that can escape, the better off it's going to be. Uh, one change that I've decided to make, though, is I am going to remove this fan and put the drive cage back in. Uh, in this position, or maybe even drill some holes and move it over some so that I can get uh, a bottom card in if I want to. But other than that, you know, I think this is going to be, you know, a one GPU system for the most part. I do have room for an extra GPU if I want to, but, you know, likely the only things you're going to see me put in here uh, are a couple SSDs in RAID, and then a couple of uh, larger storage drives in RAID. So that the little three um, caddy will be nice down there. And you'll still have cable management there or here. Or with the drive bay right there, you know, as, as short of cables as you can find. I am going to use my Corsair uh, 850. Because I have the white uh, Corsair cables. But beyond that, that's about it. I'm going to put my i7 in here. You know, the board will overclock okay. We'll see how the VRM stuff does. I mean, the same components on this board that are on my Deluxe for the most part. And the Deluxe overclocks really well. But these heat sinks on, on the VRM and stuff are quite a bit lower. Uh, I am trying to actually, I might put a water block on here. If I can figure out how to get um, 
Um, and that's the, the chipset. If I can figure out how to get a, a card in there and actually not have it interfere. So this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll be doing some more unboxings for this build in the next week or so. And hopefully wrapping it up here pretty soon. My goal is to work on this over Thanksgiving and hopefully get it done. So this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.